Bombardier Aviation and Gulfstream are two aviation giants. In this video, we will compare the two largest aircrafts, the Bombardier Global 7500 and the Gulfstream G700. In October 2014, Bombardier announced Global 7500 series aircraft, originally named the 7000. Made its first flight on November 2016. It was certified by Transport Canada and entered services on December 2018. The 7500 series aircraft is based on the Global 6000, with a new transonic wing, the longer fuselage and four-zone cabin. The aircraft fly-by-wire system architecture is based on the C-series aircraft. The Gulfstream G700 is equipped with the Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engine, able to operate on sustainable aviation fuel. The Gulfstream 700 is an industry benchmark for sustainability and innovation, allowing the airline to operate one of the cleanest and quietest business jets. The G700 cabin, the industry's most spacious, can be configured for up to five living areas, including an ultra galley with 10 feet of counter space, a dedicated crew space, an entertainment and presentation area, a six-person conference and dining area, and a grand suite with shower. In 2016, Bombardier Global 7500 series aircraft entered service. As of now, the company has received over 250 orders. And Bombardier considered 2020 to be a successful year for the Global 7500. As they delivered 35 aircraft to various customers, and the company celebrated the milestone delivery of the 50th Global 7500 on March, 2021. The Gulfstream G700 has a payload capacity of 2,896 kg, which is higher than the Bombardier 7500, which has a payload capacity of around 2,585 kg. The Gulfstream G700 cabin is nearly 57 feet long, while the Bombardier Global 7500 cabin is 54 feet 5 inches long, which is slightly shorter than the G700. The Global 7500 has a General Electric Passport engine that produces 84.2 kN, whereas the G700 has a Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engine that produces 81.2 kN. The Bombardier Global 7500 has a range of 14,250 km, and the Gulfstream 700 has a range of up to 13,890 km. In this segment, Bombardier is the clear winner in terms of range capacity. The ceiling level capacity of the two aircrafts is approximately 51,000 feet. The Gulfstream G700 requires more runways to take off, whereas the Bombardier G7500 can take off in less than 200 meters. And the landing distance for both aircraft is the same, which is around 768 meters with the typical weight. The Bombardier Global 7500 has a maximum takeoff weight of around 52,096 kg, while the Gulfstream G700 has a maximum takeoff weight of 48,807 kg. The majority of private jet prices are determined by the aircraft's capacity and range of engines. Gulfstream and Bombardier are two excellent aerospace companies that are constantly introducing new technologies to the market. The Global 7500 will cost you at least $73 million, while the G700 will cost you at least around $75 million. Please leave your thoughts on the Global 7500 and Gulfstream G700 aircraft in the comments section below, and if you're new to our channel, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up.
If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.